part four, Tangerine Dream solo albums. Pete Bowman I already featured in part two, I think. Um, but one album I didn't feature was his 2017 release, Machines of Desire. Black. In a low inner sleeve and nice white vinyl. That's a, not a bad album actually. His latest release. Oh, and also a signed insert. Number 42 of 500. That's uh, Peter Bowman's latest release. It's not bad, not bad at all. As I say, I've already gone through his previous uh, albums on part two. So next out of the bag, for the solo members is Chris Frank, on his first solo album, Pacific Coast Highway, which was uh, when he'd relocated to America. Nice in the bag. <coughs> but on the, uh, I think it was Virgin Venture label. It's the only Chris Frank album I've got on vinyl, all the rest are on CD. So then we go on to uh, Edgar Fraser's first album, Aqua. Great bubbly, watery synth sounds on this one. Released on Virgin in 74. Quite a good album. But you've probably already got it, those of you that are interested in this sort of thing. On the original Virgin label. <coughs> Nice album. Uh, oh, and this is a, I think this is a German pressing, slightly different colour to the sleeve artwork there, but it's exactly the same. Just slightly different colour, same in a, um, oh, it's on Brain, orange, German Orange Brain label, which is quite collectible. Ooh. Aqua English and German versions. I think there's a slight difference on the inner sleeve, but it's to do with the writing and text. Next up is the excellent Epsilon in Malaysian Pale. Gorgeous artwork and photography, presumably by Monique Frost, his wife. This is on Virgin, different Virgin label. From uh, 1975, I believe. Right, quickly on to the next one, which is, oh, Macula Transfer. Excellent album. Rather dark and menacing in parts, and quite spooky in others. Lots of guitar synths, and I think there could be drums as well. Great shot of a DMU in the inner sleeve. And this was on the orange brown label as well. Great album. Next up was uh, Ages from about 77 or 78, I think. Again, it's a, it's a double album in its gatefold sleeve. Nice photography inside. One virgin, I believe. <coughs> yeah, we've gone on to the green virgin label by then. Good album, excellent album. Drumming by Klaus Krieger on a couple of the tracks. Is that? Oh, and this is, um, I think this is an Italian issue with different, it's just got the text in green rather than blue. Exactly the same otherwise. With a nice inner sleeve. And it's on the, uh, oh, it's on Virgin. I'm not sure if it's Italian or German. It's like the original Virgin label. Next up is, I'll pull two out, one is 
called Electronic Dreams, which is a compilation on the Brain label, Rock on Brain. With all the other artists who feature on their on their label. Then this is on uh, Orange Brain again. So fairly collectible. The other album is from 79, Stuntman. Again, excellent album this one. It's into synth rock. Comes with an inner bag. <coughs> Photographs. And it's on the... Oh, we're back to 1979, the green and red. And red and green. Virgin label. That later. Um, another compilation, solo works 74 to 79. I don't know if you can see that or if there's too much reflection. I want to really photograph from a different angle. And again, it's on, I think it's on German red and green labels. <coughs> There's that, and the next one up is Pinnacles. I think this was his last solo album for Virgin. I'm quickly going through these because, yeah, it's on Virgin Green and Red. And, oh, and this was another one, a film soundtrack called Kamikaze 1989. There's some quite good stuff on this one, actually. As I say, it's a soundtrack to a film that I've never seen. And again, it's on the Virgin Green and Red. Labels. There's some uh, quite good tracks amongst this. A lot of music to play through. <coughs> right, now we move on to... Well, actually, this guy isn't connected. He, I don't, Harold Groskopf, I don't think he ever played for Tangerine Dream, to be honest. He's a drummer. He played for Ashra. But uh, it's in the box, so uh, it's on Sky Sky Records. Good album, actually. Synth, drums, and guitar. And again, another Harold Groskopf album, Ocean Heart. Nice sleeve. In fact, this is the one that's playing in the background. Not really connected with Tangerine Dream, are those two? Uh, this one is, this guy Michael Hannig played with him live for a while in 75 I think. And this is his album, Departure from the Northern Wastelands. Another excellent album. I think it was on WA, WA or Warner, Bro Warner Brothers label. And it was released in about 78 I think, 1978. Michael Hannig. And he also released an album called Except One on the, um, I think it's on the cinema label. I think he'd relocated to America by then. It's got a picture, um, it's got an inner bag and various photos and text. Quite a nice uh, tan label. That's uh, Michael Honig, who was briefly with Tangerine Dream in 75. Oh, and I've got another copy of the same album, but it's Japanese with the um, Obi strip. Probably got an insert as well. Yes, it has. Can't. That's part of the album. Again, it's on the uh, cinema label, I think, but a Japanese pressing with an insert and text in Japanese. Put that back later. Next out is uh, Steve Jolly, who played with the band in the late 60s and in 78 as well. This is a great album, really. Journeys Out of the Body, it's called. And it's quite ethereal, with some text, text insert. Good cover. What's this on? It's on the Nader, Nader or Nada Pulse label. A <laughs> nice label, that. Right album. I did put a track from this on YouTube, from Journeys Out of the Body, I can't remember what it's called. The track's called um, Middle Dream State, I think. 
really weird, weird stuff. Another Steve Jolliffe album is Japanese Butterfly. Nice cover art. Again, it's on the Nada Pulse label, or is it Nada Pulse? I'm not sure. There we go. Japanese flavoured music on this one. Don't think it's as good as the previous album, but there we go. And another Steve Jolliffe, Beyond the Dream. I think this was on Amp, Amp Records from London. And there he is. That's Steve Jolliffe. Now we've got uh, Klaus Krager, who played drums briefly for the band in 78 and then released this solo album called One Is One. And it's on the, I think that's Klaus Schulz's innovative communication label. Yeah, just a plain white label. Klaus Krieger, One Is One. I can't get it back, so I'll do that later. There's that. Oh, this is a recent release by the current members of Tangerine Dream, Cushioning and Schnauss. And it's called Synth Waves. It's quite a good album, I watched the first side. I think it's a brand new 2017 or 2016 release. I thought it was on coloured vinyl, but it's not. It's just usual normal black vinyl. A nice tan label. Not sure who the record company is. Good album, it's pretty good. Oh, there's a free internet. Uh, download as well. <clears throat> uh, now next up we've uh, Conrad Schnitzler was, all, was in the original Tangerine Dream back in 1970 and then left to have an extensive solo career I and mean, he's released dozens, dozens and dozens, maybe a hundred odd albums. I've only got a few of his albums. This is quite a collectible one on the Egg, Egg label. And it's called, um, what is it called, Con? <clears throat> on the Egg label. He did produce some good stuff, although some, some of his stuff can be difficult to get into. But I've only got a few of his albums, I've got most of them on CD. Another one here, Live in 77, without a proper sleeve. Uh, this one's called Conal. I'm not sure what label that, that's on. Another Conrad, it's the Consequence 2, Consequence 2, <clears throat> I think this is on the Spanish label, it's an album with Wolf Sequenza. As I say I've got most of this stuff on CD and not that much on um, Helper, New Dramatic Electronic Music with Jen Ken Montgomery. Within an inner sleeve, Whoop. which never seems to go back very well. So there's that. We next move on to Johann Schmerling, another member of Tangerine Dream uh, from the late 70s to the early or mid 80s, I think. And this album's called The Zoo of Tranquility on Theta Records. <coughs> Next up from Shahan is Vivend Riet. Riet. Again, this is an import. I'm not sure which country it was released in. Probably German. Erdenkrang. I think it's a German label. There's that. And probably more one of his best albums was um, this one, Whiteout. Excellent album. Um, it comes with a, an inner bag and I've got some sort of insert about notes about the album itself. Just some printed notes. <clears throat> great, great album. White House and black label. It's actually on Polydor. <laughs> Surprising, major label. 
And uh, oh, next we've got Klaus Scholz, but before we go on to him, there's this compilation called Cosmic Music on the. Um, I'm not sure, was this on their record? Yeah, their record label back in the early 70s. Great artwork from MC Escher, or Escher, I should say. It's a double album compilation with notes about the band pinned into the middle. Which I can't actually open there that I want to. Again, it's a good album, good compilation of Ashra, Tangerine Dream, Purple Vu, Shawls. It's on the uh, collectible Ur label. Mac Das Ur Uff. Collectible German label. And I'll just lift the stylus on this. <coughs> So that's a compilation album released um, mid 70s, I think it was. Quite rare to find, they're hard to find. Now, to close shells proper, we've got this first release, Erlicht. I'm not sure that means light, uh, uh, hazy light, dawn light, I'm not sure. A, double, a single album with, with a gatefold sleeve. And Frosty looking photograph there. And um, this one's on the, again, it's on the Ur label. Which I can just get in there. Oh, it's got an insert as well, so it's, actually the insert must be quite collectible. No, you just don't know if I can see the insert. It's one sided. Yeah. I've got another version of it here. On. Levantine. I think that's a French French label. Same artwork, same music, but different label. They showed it in France. Oh, look at that. Cosmic, cosmic music label. Yellow label. This time I will lift the needle. Next up is another version of a licked, but this is a single non gatefold issue. Oh, that's nice on the uh, Clementine. <coughs> Must be a lighter, lighter issue, a reissue of the album. Quite barren, stark, wintry music. Um, oh, yet yeah, another issue of a lick with a totally different sleeve this time. And again, it's a single sleeve, non gate fold. And it's on the brain label. Black brain, which is the later incarnation of uh, the brain artwork. <coughs> German label. Probably dates from the mid 70s, this copy, although the original album was released in 72, I think. <coughs> Next up is Cyborg. Great stock. Four, it's a double album, four sides, four slabs of electronic music. Again, a bit bleak and it's quite interesting on the Cosmic Music label. 1973. And that sleeve, that sleeve has often been described as a hippie lost in a disco, <laughs> which is rather cruel, but there you go. Cyborg, 1973, and also a reissue of it with a totally different sleeve, probably a year or two later. And, uh, different artwork in the mid in the centre. This is on the oops, oh, orange brain label. Double LP, music's the same as the previous one, but uh, just a different sleeve, different sleeve artwork. <coughs> um, oh, next up is an excellent album called Picture Music. I think it was recorded in 73 and released in 75. A lot of these I bought at the time, when money would allow. 
but this is a great album, one of my favourites of his. Oh, it's on the Green Brain as well, which is quite collectible. Right, let's get on. Picture music, another picture music issue, a lighter issue with different artwork. Quite interesting. It's on the Black Brain label. With a hmm, roster of artists who record, recorded with that label at the time. Oh, and another issue. Um, this is totally different. This is for this photograph from the Moon Dawn period. I can't remember what it's, it's on Ariola, which I think is I can't remember if French or German or Italian, but it's certainly different. Silver Ariola label. <clears throat> so there's that, three issues of picture music. Music's practically the same, I think it's all the same on all of them. Um, oh. And here we've got the compilation Discover Cosmic and Klaus Schulz Sessions from the late 70s. Oh, it's got the, <coughs> the Cosmic Jokers, it's a double LP with the Cosmic Jokers first album. And the reissue of uh, Ashra Temples, Temples Join In as the second album. With the delectable Rosie Mueller there. <clears throat> oh, great label. Wow. Cosmic Music label. This was dated from the mid 70s, I think. 75 or 76. I think I actually might have bought this same thing. But it's in good shape. It's in excellent shape. Yeah. Love that label. <clears throat> Put that back later. Carrying on with Close Shawls. Um, this is Black Dance on the... On, I had this on Virgin Caroline, but I traded it in for a Brian label German release. Exactly the same music, but slightly rarer label. Oops, it's unusual artwork. This is from 74, and again it's on the orange brown. Lots of percussion on this album, it's quite good. In fact, the one side is excellent. Um, then we come on to Schulze's, well, probably his best known album, Time and Again, I had this on the Virgin, I think I gave it away to somebody. And bought this uh, Brain Label edition. Bloody marvellous album. Is excellent. Look at that artwork. Excellent, excellent album. Oh, it's on the Green Brain, which is even more collectible. I didn't think the Green Brain went up to 75. Obviously, it did. Well, there's that, that's good. That's up to 75. Next is. Next is um, Moon Dawn from 1976, and I've got about three or four copies of this. This is excellent guitars, bass, drums, and lots and lots of synth and keyboards. Two long tracks spread over, one spread over each side. Again, this will be on the <coughs> original brain label, the orange brain. That's one issue. Then there was another issue, um, a single, single sleeve, non-gatefold, but with totally different photographs. <coughs> Same music, floating and mind phaser. And this was on the, oh again, the Areola label. Must have been licensed from Brain Records. Another single sleeve issue, back to the original photo of Moon Dawn. And this is a later Brain issue. It's not a gatefold, they've... Uh, the oh sorry, this is a Japanese. This is a Japanese orange Brain issue. Got no overstrip, but it has got the 
Japanese in her. <coughs> the um, like a little advertising strip. It's all in Japanese, so I can't read that. It's all the bands that record for for uh, Brian. This is another M Moon Dawn release, totally different. Black background label. I think this is quite effective, but it's not a gatefold. Just a single sleeve. Again, it's just got the same two tracks, but they are bloody good tracks. <coughs> oh, it's on the Isadora. I think that's French. Look at that for a label. Wow. Isadora. Someone's written Play It Loud. <laughs> I think it was me. It deserves to be played loud though. It's bloody excellent. Probably his best rock album. And oh my god, I've got another one. I didn't realise that. This is another uh, Japanese copy of Moon Dawn. Shows his Moon Dawn. So I've got five copies of this, and they're all different. I'm not going to get it out, but it's uh, Japanese. <coughs> it's got an insert. It's got a yellow brain metronome label, which I've not seen before. But it's Japanese, so it's probably something to do with being licensed over there and to be issued over there. I think that's it for now. I'll have to continue Claire Shaw's albums on the next uh, part. So, there we go. Cheers. <coughs>